Pisces. <laughs> My name is Sweet Kinks. I'm going to be doing your April 2018 reading. Get right to it. So, what is the overall energy for Pisces? April 2018. It's a whole, whole lot. Uh, home and family, Pisces, April 2018. Uh, work and finances. And love and relationships for Pisces, April 2018. Love and relationships. Mm. Okay. So you guys have a lot for your overall energy. Pisces, you got the Seven of Pentacles upright. King of Pentacles, uh, I mean, King, King of Wands, I'm sorry, in reverse. Emperor, upright, and the Ace of Cups, upright. So, Pisces. I feel like you guys are just really focused on, like, whatever project it is that you have coming out. It's like you making sure that it's about to pop for real like <laughs> like you really mean business and um you know the king of wands kind of uh has that businessman kind of energy to me and even though he's reversed i feel like it just means that you might not have all the insight right now but you do have or you're at least looking uh for a team to help you because this is the only card that's in reverse the rest of this stuff is upright so let's start with the seven of pentacles because king of wands was second seven of pentacles like i said is is something um you're just working on uh bringing in financial gain like i hear splurging for some of you but not really splurging too much just like things that you really wanted for a while but you put it off because you didn't have the uh the resources at the time or the money at the time so i feel like some of you guys are treating yourself to just little things but i don't think you guys are overdoing it i think you guys went so long without it that you realize you don't even need half the stuff that you really wanted initially like what you really want is like uh, your long your long term plans to be successful. I think you're you're more you're more focused on long term instead of like little uh you know little knickknacks to satisfy you at the moment. Let's move on. I already discussed the King of Wands. Then right after that you have the Emperor. So like I said, it is something big, a big project. When I see the Emperor, I think of like like you are it's like an entrepreneur uh, for some of you guys you're, you're pursuing your own business and you're trying to see if you can really stand alone because you end off with the ace of cups and i feel like you will be you will be fine <laughs> you'll be fine pisces like i think instinctively a lot of you feel that you'll be fine you're just worried about getting everything in order in order, definitely, but I think it's gonna come together, right? So yeah, Pisces, whatever you're working on, it's going to bring a lot of like emotional satisfaction, and I think it's gonna come from the fact that it's something you did on your own for the most part. It's something that you did on your own. It's something that you have a lot of 
a lot of control over. And I think that's what's going to make you happy. It's going to be like something that you have, you finally have control of. Like a part of your life, you may have felt like you just up in the air recently or in the past few weeks or, you know, recent past. But yeah, whatever you're working towards, I think it's going to be very uh, successful. So for in the, uh, the month of April, I see you just doing you and just... Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. <laughs> so let's move on to home and family. You guys have the moon upright and the three of pentacles upright. So this just brings me back to this, uh, this here guy. <laughs> this king of wands in reverse. I feel like there's something that you don't know about okay first of all let me start here when it comes to home and family why i'm connecting this to uh this uh king of of wands and like this whole entrepreneurial spirit it's like you don't know something so you don't have all the information but you're still moving forward which connects with the moon card because whatever project you're working on it's like a baby. It's, it's something you're raising. It's like home and family. This is you, either at home, you're literally working on it a lot, or it's just something that's close to you because it's something that you're putting a lot of emotional um, energy into. Like a lot of hard work into it. But yeah, you're still confused or just don't have quite enough information about something, but it is not stopping you. <laughs> Pisces cannot be stopped. I feel like you guys are just going for it. Like really heavy. Whatever it is, you are just going to be like, even through the confusion. It's like you're rising through the confusion. Like, um, you know, the Phoenix rising energy or... Uh, rising from the ashes, ris rising from the dust, you know... That kind of energy where you're not supposed to do well, like you're not supposed to succeed based on your, your circumstances, whether it be uh, recent past or like the way you grew up. If you grew up poor or you grew up with not a lot of money and you are about to be like a, a major CEO uh, for a your own business or you're about to partner with uh, a corporation or something else where you have a huge amount of responsibility but also a lot of I hear shark <laughs> maybe you guys are gonna be either dealing with a shark or like that energy where it's like big business I control people fear me in the sense of competition but not in the sense of uh, bully, you know? So yeah, home and family. <laughs> you guys are just gonna, you, you guys are just working towards whatever long-term goal you have. <clears throat> so that was more for self. And when it, co when it comes to, um, you know, you live with other people or, you know, you live with your family, you live with your your parents, whoever. I feel like they kind of see you. Like right now, you're you're kind of locked in a room. I think they kind of intuitively know that you're working on something, so you're kind of being left alone, but in a good way. So I don't I don't see anybody like nagging you at home if you live with people or, or um yeah or any major disagreements or disputes at the time. I think for April, you guys would be pretty satisfied with your home life because you're just so focused on your long-term goal that you know that right now is just a small piece of the puzzle, you know? So when it comes to work and finances, <laughs> you have the Eight of Swords in reverse, which just goes back to the overall. I feel like maybe before... You guys may have been stressed out of uh, uh, stressed out about not knowing something completely, 
or not having all the information or just not feeling in control of your own life or your own destiny, you know? So I feel like in the past you were in this uh, trapped feeling, but you guys have it in reverse. So you definitely like freed yourself. If you could see, like the head is out, but the body is still kind of trapped a little bit. You at least made the step as to free yourself and, and give yourself more hope and opportunity and, you know, that kind of energy. Just basically like pulling yourself out of a rut mentally before everything manifests physically. Before you start to see all these offers um, come to you, which I feel like in, in, in work is going to come to you or you're going to be manifesting more money uh, a little bit easier because you feel more in control of your own energy now. But yeah, when it comes to work and finances, you guys are really just pulling yourself out of that rut and um, <clears throat> focus on the long-term goal and not letting your, like I said, not letting your circumstances kind of um, map out the rest of your future, you know? But overall positive <laughs> positive energy for work and finances when it comes to love and relationships you guys have the three of swords upright so three of swords i feel like when it comes to a relationship for for those of you who are coupled i feel like both of you guys are able to stand in your own truth and it kind of makes this um really logical no i guess logical is the best word but this really um it's a a balanced thought process i just feel like both of you guys are okay for some of you guys you learned how to kind of stand alone and how to be more balanced in your thoughts which is why you're able to focus a little more um you learn those qualities through your partner so one of you guys is already, you know, good and leading the way in, in that area and you kind of followed and now you guys are just like, I feel like it's smooth sailing for some of you guys, for a good amount of you guys. It's smooth sailing in your relationships. So it's a lot of, uh, a lot of you guys are, uh, are on the same page a lot about recent topics, discussions, whatever. But you guys have recently been on the same page a lot, or will be, uh, for the month of April. But yeah, I don't see too many disagreements or, um, yeah, the singles. I feel like this is just overall you standing in your truth, you, uh, taking away information from previous experiences. <clears throat> this doesn't have to be romantic experiences. This could be friendships that went bad or family relationships that went bad. Just certain uh, circumstances or situations, people that you had attachments to that went bad in the uh, past. I feel like you, you didn't throw to say you didn't really throw away the, the relationship, you still took what you learned and the qualities, even though that person is no longer around you anymore, you still took what they had to offer and, um, you know, used it for your highest good. Um, ice cream truck throwing me off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys. I feel like maybe it's that childlike energy. You guys are coming in with a wave, like childlike energy of, you know how kids, like when they really want to do something, like they really focus on it and they kind of go crazy, but they still have a certain balance and still doing it because they, they want to. But once a parent comes and says, you have to do it, it's like, that's when they start falling off because they don't have the control anymore, that, that feel of, of I'm doing it because I want to and not because I'm being told, you know? So it's that childlike energy that 
um, playfulness in that, you know, children are okay with uncertainty. Children are very okay with uncertainty and they live their lives just fine. <laughs> you know, ignorance is bliss, right? You can use that saying, you yeah. know, they still operate. They don't know a lot of things when it comes to home and family. They don't understand how uh, the home operates and all the levels and all the people and all the dynamics. But somehow they still operate in that confusion and not really confusion, but that um, place of, of not knowing everything. Which is which kind of brings happiness and kind of brings a new wave of energy to life because you're letting go of control issues. So you're allowing um, things to come to you. And you guys, <laughs> first of all, you ended off with the king, I'm uh, king, Lord, the queen of pentacles. So it's like definitely getting what you want. And then I cut the deck and then you had the ace of um, swords. So like I said, it's. Learning to stand on your own and feel having that real sense of I'm the queen or king, queen or emperor, like higher than a king of my own domain, you know. I really have this control, but it's coming from a place of nurture, that calm, uh, feminine energy, that balance of the feminine and masculine and being in your truth. I just feel like you guys are smooth sailing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Overall advice for Pisces for April 2018. Overall advice for Pisces for merge. Inspired action as well. Okay, wow. So merge, like I said, I just said um, the feminine and, and ma masculine energies and allowing them to come together for you to really like have the perfect balance, the perfect, uh, just manifest the perfect things for you. And the first line says, allow your head and heart to melt together and embrace all parts of you. So... Yeah, Pisces, I just feel like that's kind of self-explanatory. Like, really, you just, I don't even think you need to be told to merge. Like, I, I feel like you're going to know intuitively. It, it, you're just going to feel this new energy and just understand that you need to either be more gentle on yourself. And with that gentleness on yourself, you're manifesting uh your career or your money or whatever project it is it's going to manifest more rapidly more um or if not rapidly at least more power powerfully like like i said when you just really nurture yourself and nurture your creativity you'll be surprised like what else you can manifest so a lot of oh, <laughs> inspired action so you know, that need to take care of yourself is going to inspire you to act on different things, of, of uh, different areas of your life, sorry. You know, um, nurturing yourself, saying what you like to do. This brings me this sort of stability, this sort of happiness. And with that comes freedom. So there's that overall sense of freedom and just calmness when you take care of yourself first and not be too logical too too uh directional is that a word i guess that's what i mean like directional because you as i open the deck I, I got a color so it's like a vibrancy not so it's not just one color like two colors can make so many different things you know what i mean <laughs> before i just start sounding crazy but anyway you know oh color that childlike energy that childlike vibration everything is colorful everything is bright everything is new and shiny this experience is new this new 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, Pisces, you guys are, I feel like you guys are going to be, you guys are going to be good in April. All right. <laughs> so if you want to book a personal reading with me, uh, my information will be down below. Hope you enjoyed your reading and bye. <laughs>